also led by the conference's leading scorer, Luka Garza. Nine straight games with 20 or more points. IU game tonight for Iowa, so they are down to seven recruited scholarship players. Indiana certainly the deeper team, and they bring it across to the person of Rob Finnessy. This is Durham, now Finnessy. Now Justin Smith. Now Trace Jackson Davis to Durham. This is Brunk, five on the shot clock. And Brunk pulls up, tough shot, doesn't go. Pulls up, tough shot, doesn't go. Rebound to Garza, and here comes Iowa. Really good defensive sequence to start the ball game for Iowa. They did not allow the Hoosiers to penetrate the three-point arc at all. Connor McCaffrey inside to Garza, and he draws the function in that category, and so... Garza goes to the free throw to the stripe and right away first possession. He's at the line Watching three There's Garza out top good three-point shooter, but he goes inside the oh. arc and swishes one and How about a guy at 610 <laughs> that can shot fake put the ball on the floor just a his skill set offensively is just so impressive. Uh, he has absolutely everything, which makes him so hard to defend. As Brunk misses inside, Garza's. Justin Smith had it blocked by Garza. Toussaint over Thompson. Garza fighting inside. Did he walk? He did. Indiana has a chance to play offensively. Devontae Green fills that role. Garza working on Thompson and I nice spin move. Hey, that's an outlet pass going the other way. Yes, but he did yes. Garza inside and gets the roll. The Hoosiers have hit their last five from the field. On top by a half dozen. Garza oh. silences the but Indiana assistant saying they're the best out of bounds team in the country. Frederick misses that one. And here comes Green. This time inside the arc, has it knocked away. The 16, 15 point advantage for Indiana. Biggest to the game. Here's Evelyn. Now Garza on the blocks, misses that one. Forced Iowa to play a little bit faster than they want to on this end of the floor. Best of the Hawkeyes, and we are more than halfway through this first half. Did not hesitate one second. 60% from the field oh. for Indiana. And, uh, turnovers have certainly favored IU in this game. McCaffrey can't get it to go. Garza the rebound. Goes up strong. And they were counted. No foul. I think his issue is whether or not it was a shooting foul. Green. Alley-oop. Uh, Jackson Davis couldn't corral it. And Ash has it for Iowa. And that's where you got a little carried away if you're Devontae Green. That's probably... Far and away the worst decision he's made tonight. As Garza from the field, just one of their last seven, making one of their last eight. Crowd thought Smith was fouled. Here's Garza. On the baseline. Out of bounds. Just being in the wrong place in the wrong time was Brian Greener. You mentioned Wieskamp going down the floor. Justin Smith has frustrated him when he has drawn that defensive assignment. Oh, Wieskamp just three points. Remember, he had 30 over the weekend against Nebraska. He's 10 of 15 from the floor in that ball game. Only four field goal attempts so far. Here's Finnessy, shot clock at five. Finnessy the pull up, well short. Five, Finnessy the pull up, well short. And Garza's got the rebound. Fifth rebound for Luka Garza. Nice job by Toussaint. And Garza gets his man in the air for a number of years ago. Has recovered and looks like he will redshirt this season for Iowa as he fights some of the residual effects of the illness. Here's Garza. Nice move. <laughs> Files out. <laughs> Here's Race Thompson. Not there and Creeter the rebound.
what Trace Jackson Davis again just working so hard to try to beat Luca Garza to a spot. Here's Wees Camp. Can Iowa get him going? Smith Man. continues to guard him well. Garza with the shot clock at five. Garza, a great oh. move. Footwork again, keeping that pivot foot anchored. That is far more difficult than it appears. 27 points for Luca Garza, who continues to amaze. Finnessy. Not there. If Wieskamp's able to maybe shake loose. Jerome Hunter on him now. Garza, who's played all but 20 seconds in this game, and he is fouled. Hoosiers have gone three and a half minutes without a field goal. Davis trying to end that. Can't do it. Garza the rebound. Really can't get it to go. And here comes Indiana. Green. Garza. Daryl Thompson, of course, a great running back at the University of Minnesota. This is the free throw, and Garza has the rebound. Complete. Nice job by Bronx. Three points for him, his first field goal. Back to a 15-point lead. Well, again, Justin Smith just doing a wonderful job of moving his feet. Joining us, he's suspended for this game. And then C.J. Frederick went down with an injury Headed for McCaffrey, leads the nation in assist to turnover ratio. Finnessy. Jackson Davis in on Garza. Loose ball coming out to Green. That three doesn't go, still hasn't scored in the second half. And it's Iowa ball. Grace Thompson has equaled his career high with 10, and Garza will go to the... He heads to the bench. Really had a nice game to this point here tonight. Five points for Davis. 16-point lead. Garza. <laughs> it's the three. Luke Garza. Six points in this game, and yet he has had a tremendous impact, Sean. He has been as impactful as anybody Maybe the second most impactful player on his team other than what Devontae Green gave offensively. 38 for Lee.